So the title of our uh, talk is Linear Models for Video Memorability Prediction Using Visual and Semantic Features. So, uh, so, uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll quickly talk about what features we use. So among the pre-computed features that we were well features that we used were the seed 3D predictions and the HMP histogram of motion pattern feature uh, uh, pattern features and the frame level uh, features that we used were inception V3 predictions, LBP and color histogram. We also used uh, captions to train our model. So we vectorize the captions as a bag of words of unigrams and bigrams. And finally, the additional features that we used were uh, the pre were the uh, outputs of the penultimate layer of uh, CNN trained on ImageNet, ResNet, and DenseNet. So, uh, so what we mean by that is uh, the the penultimate layer here where the red arrow is. Uh, the outputs were the the in Inception and the C3D outputs that we were given were the output of the fully connected layers, which correspond to the probability of a particular object being in the video. The motivation behind using the output from the pre, pre penultimate layer was although the exact image net categories might not be relevant for memorability score prediction, the high level semantic representation learned by the CNNs might still be relevant. And uh, we that is something we observe. Uh, now we'll quickly uh, go uh, talk about the models that we use. So we use highly regularized DNR models. We use logistic regression for which the hyperparameter is C. We use elastic net, net, which is L1 and L2 regularized linear regression, where the hyperparameters are the strength of regularization and the ratio of L1 to L2 regularization. We use linear SVR, where the hyperparameters are the strength of regularization and the margin of the of uh, SVR, margin of the tolerance where no penalty is given to the errors. And uh, to combine our best models, we use linear combination. We just ensemble the models. So uh, yeah, so uh, all, all of this we implement uh, using the scikit-learn uh, library in Python. Uh, we do some data pre-processing. So for the frame level features, color histogram, LBP, and inception pre layer predictions, we concatenate uh, the features across the frames of a particular video. For the CNN features, we add the features for the frames of a particular video and then normalize them. For captions, we form a vocabulary or dictionary using a count vectorizer library provided by scikit-learn. Uh, we use unigrams and bigrams. And we also pre-process uh, the memorability scores or the labels. So we use uh, two different methods for uh, the pre-processing of the labels, depending on what model we use. For uh, the elastic net and linear SVR, we do z-score normalization. For logistic regression, we sample from a binomial distribution that is parameterized by the memorability score. Uh, so this slide uh, talks about the pre-processing of the labels. So z-score normalization is simply making the label zero mean and unit variance. Uh, for sampling from a binomial distribution for logistic regression, the motivation behind that is uh, the fact that memorability scores are analogous to the probability of a video being memorable and logistic regression needs binary values. So what we do is if memorability score is 0 0.6, we sample uh, a binomial of size of length 10, and uh, the uh, the labels, the output uh, of the binomial is, is the labels that go into the logistic regression model. Uh, for model selection, we do a grid search over the hyperparameters. So we pick the best hyperparameter for each model or in each set of features using a grid search. Uh, for each set of hyperparameters, we train models for 20 different random splits of the training set and evaluate the median validation score. So the plot that you see on the slide is, is a plot between the median validation score and the strength of regularization for a particular model, which is the logistic regression model trained on the ResNet features. Uh, uh, in, in logistic regression, the hyperparameter C is inversely proportional to the strength of regularization. And as can be seen from this plot, the best results are when C is 0 0.1, which means that the plot is highly, uh, which means that the model is highly regularized. Also, it has a clear maxima, which uh, means that sort of as we increase the level of regularization, the performance of the model improves and uh, till a certain point. And then for extremely high values of regularization, it becomes worse. And this is something that we observed for different models and for different sets of features. 
So we summarize uh, our results on long term and so short term memorability in the next two slides. So uh, our models on uh, HMP and C3D predictions outperform the models on inception, LBP and color histogram. And the captions outperform all the above models. And this is in line also with research on image memorability in the past. Uh, in addition, the models based on the penultimate layer of CNN's ResNet and CNN trained on uh, ImageNet outperform all the above models. Uh, for uh, uh, also uh, our ensemble model of uh, linear combination of captions and ResNet and captions and ResNet and HMP outperformed our uh, ab above models. Uh, similar results are observed for short term memorability and uh, they are being <coughs> summarized in this slide. So uh, yeah, so as, uh, as as was also mentioned in the task overview uh, presentation, the models for short term memorability perform much better than the models for long term memorability. Uh, in this slide, we present an analysis of our captions based models. So the plot that you see on the left side are uh, is a plot of the coefficients corresponding to the uh, most uh, the the unigrams and bigrams corresponding to the most negative coefficients of the trained captions model best trained captions model and on the right side are the unigrams and bigrams coefficients of the unigrams and bigrams corresponding to the most highest positive coefficients of the best captions model so as can be seen the highest negative coefficient is for mountains and the highest positive coefficient is for women. In general, uh, sort of coefficients associated with uh, nature are sort of uh, associated with in unmemorable videos, and those associated with people or actions or scenes are memorable. And again, this is uh, sort of in line with what has been observed in research on research and image memorability in the past. Uh, so yeah, so for future work, uh, so. Uh, what we have is uh, basically examine, uh, build a multimodal model instead of simple, simpler, simple linear ensembles. Uh, use CNN features from a CNN trained on image memorability prediction such as LAMM dataset because our uh, sort of what we observed was uh, the models based on CN CNN output from penultimate layers work very well despite uh, models which are trained on just the output of the fully connected layer. Uh, do, do not work well, which implies that CNNs are able to learn good high level representations and a CNN which is trained on memorability prediction tasks will work better. Uh, then uh, another thing could be joint training of models for memorability and captions. And finally, using sequence models over the features extracted uh, frame by frame instead of concatenation. Uh, so we, we'd like to thank you for uh, the for giving us this task and uh, we will take any questions that you have.